Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna be talking about the different marketing levers you can pull to grow your business today. Let's get started. So when it comes to pulling all the different marketing levers for your business, you really have to test everything. And don't you just wanna taste what that success could look like? So start from the top, right? Go through your social media channels, dominate First off, your name on all those, you might as well already have done that before someone else beats you to it. Go on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, Vimeo, Google+, Google Maps, and Google AdWords, and cast that net out. Go after your audience, all right? Go after it. Only spend, you know, up to $10. Like, just see what happens. If you're feeling feeling it, put in $500, maybe $1,000, all right? See, see how the data reads back. Now. Look amongst those platforms and look at the return. Make sure you're using UTM code so you can track this stuff, by the way, guys. And you see what traffic's coming in, you see what's converting. Wouldn't you be surprised if that Twitter ad that you never thought would work converted? You gotta, you gotta wanna taste these wins, guys. If you don't wanna taste these wins, other people are gonna go get them. So I'm just really suggesting you go after it and try it. One of the big ones that people often leave out and some reason forget about is content display networks. Oh yeah, that puts a bad taste in your mouth because there's usually trashy ads in there about God knows what. But guess what? They're there for a reason because people are clicking on them and buying off them. So that's why those companies like Taboola, Outbrain, Rev Content, Content AD, MGID, you know, those companies are there for a reason because people keep giving them money because they get success. People aren't just giving them money because they're losing, all right? So cast your net out there. There's different protocol for each of those. Some of them have a $100 limit. The, you know, you got to spend a minimum of $100 to work with them. But don't let that stop you. Another great lever to pull is review sites. You have sites like Yelp, Glassdoor, Google Business, Yahoo Listings, all that kind of stuff, right? Why? Because if someone searches for let's say, marketer Fort Lauderdale, you're more likely to come up if you're there and you have reviews set up. So go ahead and send an email to your list of people that you worked with previously and, you know, see if they'll get a review on that website and that, and, you know, get some five stars there. All right, let's get your ranking up. Make sure you don't forget about the other digital channels too, like email and SMS and your blog, okay? These types of things, including SEO, are extremely important to keeping the traffic flowing in. You're going to want to check off all these things, okay guys? Another great lever that's definitely going to take you a little bit more time than the other ones, a little bit more thought process, is question and answer sites like Quora, Yahoo Answers, and Reddit. These sites are great <clears throat> because if you really know your stuff, you can respond and help a lot of people out there. It's going to drive a lot of traffic back to you. For free you got to be careful here guys because you don't want to be spammy because you'll get kicked off these channels easily and the crowd will rip you up all right this one right here I'm sure a lot of you guys are on already but if you're not pff, simple win coupon sites right there's a bunch of them out there but I'm gonna list some of the gems you have Groupon retail me not slick deals and living social get on those put your offer even if you have a product or service put your offer up there because people looking for construction worker, Dallas, you know, you're going to come up there. So do your best to get on those listings, put an offer of 50% off first job, whatever it be, right? Some sort of offer to get their attention and get them to your site. All right, this is another good one. You're probably watching this because you are some sort of creative or entrepreneur or business owner. So this one is a little more towards the creative side. But for people that shoot a lot of photos and videos, you can upload your content to sites like Flickr, Unsplash, Pixabay, Shutterstock, iStock Photo, and Big Stock Photo to get organic traffic and sell some of your work. Why? Because people are looking for stock photos and stock videos all the time. And when I'm building a campaign, typically, you know, you budget it out. Oh, cool landscaping, guys. Oh, no worries. I'm going to just keep rolling. Oh, oh man and people will people looking for graphics and videos and such for their campaigns will come across your ad and buy it 
And if it's free, better yet, they'll use it and they might even end up hiring you to shoot more content for them. Look at it as another way to get eyeballs on you practically for free. So we covered a lot about the digital levers you can pull to raise sales today. Let's talk about print and some of the other ones. All time favorite print method to raise sales is a flyer and outgoing shipments. And every box includes something, some sort of offer or social media thing where it's like, you know, hashtag us, share a photo, something to bring them back. Don't just put the receipt in the box, guys. Come on. So other than that, for print, event sponsorship, store signage, business cards for your staff. You know how important it is to get your whole staff with business cards? If they had them, they'd probably use them. And you know, there's certain people that obviously wouldn't, like the shipping department might not be as inclined to use them as the sales guys, but don't let that stop you. And I saved everyone's favorite for last, cold contact. Pick up the phone, email, text, go meet with them in person, whatever you gotta do, reach out to them, initiate conversation, close the deal. So the big conclusion, there's a ton of channels out there, right? A lot. And if you don't know how to use them all, that's okay. The ones that I would suggest starting with are Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Why? Because for someone that's just getting started to someone that's an expert, those three tools offer an insane amount of targeting features and really good price points. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you right away. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content from Nikki Media. Talk soon. Hmm. Great morning for leaf blowing. Thanks, neighbor.